Hi, ABA dancers. Look where I am. I'm at the studio. I know it's been so long. Doesn't it look so nice? I'm really excited to be back here. And if all goes well, I'm hoping we might even be here tomorrow. I'm working on an email while I'm it's just been a busy day. I've been working on an email. I'm making this video. I'm getting things ready here. And it's a little bit crazy. But um, yes, I'm hoping we're here tomorrow. Please don't freak out and please don't be too excited. And it's all going to work out somehow. Um, but here, I wanted to give you guys an idea of what to expect when you actually get here because I think that that's going to help all of us um, know what to do. As you can see, I have all of our white tape marks all around um, the paths leading into the studio. Um, this, of course, is the front door. You will enter the front door if you are taking classes upstairs. If you are taking classes in the downstairs studio, then you will enter the back door. In case you don't know where that is, I'm going to show you right now. Um, you would walk either around the front by that front tree, or it might even be easier for you to walk um, around the back from that side of the parking lot. And then there's the little stairs down to the back door. Right now, both doors are closed, um, but when we are in session, we will have the doors open, uh, both so that we aren't touching too many things and so that we get more circulation in the building. Um, so please um, try to get to class on time, meaning that um, if you get here early, wait in your car or wait outside. We don't get to come into the studio until the teachers actually come and get us. Um, so when you come in, you will file in. Um, please have your dance attire on underneath your street clothes. So you can wear shorts and a t-shirt or something like that over your dance clothes. Um, shoes, do still wear street shoes. And we can change into your ballet shoes when we get into the space. Um, we have our tape marks out here as well um, in the hall, so we all know where to stand. There's our hand sanitizer stations right by the front door. There's some right here uh, by the entrance to the studio as well. And as you can see, we have removed all of the chairs because there can't be a waiting area. Parents, I do apologize, but um, we can't allow you to walk your dancers into the studio um, for the time being. So we will meet you at the front door and we will bring them in. So I'm hoping this video also helps you guys so that you can see what it is that we have set up since I can't have you guys come in. Of course, um, we're going to close the dressing rooms um, just because if everyone's wearing street shoes and their um, street clothes over their dance attires, there should be no need to change. Um, when you enter the studio, we will walk around the perimeter of the room say hi to my boys and they're being so good they're trying to earn treats by letting me finish the video but it's been a little bit of a long day for them i know i'm almost done okay buddy alex will you please help caleb i apologize um so i have hey boys okay keep trying i'm almost done um, along the perimeter of the room, I have these tape marks. These are also for six feet distance. Um, the six foot distance will we'll walk around here um, at the beginning of class and these six foot marks will help us know where to place our bags. So we will place our bags up in one of these spots and we will take off our street shoes and leave our stuff in one of these six foot squares. And then after that, when everyone is ready, we will kind of figure us zigzag into our dancing space. And as you can see, I have the whole room um, marked off in squares. Um, we will just go around like this until we all have a little X. There are X's in the middle of the squares. That is the center of um, our dancing space. We will not be using bars for the time being. As you can see upstairs, the bars are all up on the stage. Um, that means we do center bar. If your dancer doesn't know what center bar is, that is when we do everything that we would normally do at the bar in the center. So we will do plies in the center, we will do tendus at the center, we will do dégagés at the center, we will do rondejons at the center. After you do all of the things that we would normally do at the bar in the center, you continue to do things that we would normally do in the center. So then you would do your adagios and your turns and your jumps. So it is an entire class. It is a very good class. It is a very hard class. Doing center bar takes a lot of strength and it is a good test always. 
Um, if there is anything that travels a bunch, which sometimes we do have exercises that travel, especially for the older dancers, we will do them in groups. So half of the classes or more, just depending on how much we're traveling and how big, um, how much we're traveling, none of the classes are gonna be too big, but um, all of the dancers that are waiting will go to the side by their bags um, and wait there while the other dancers are dancing in the center of this space. So that way everyone, again, can keep their distance. When class is done, um, they will go to their stuff and pull back on their street clothes and they will figure us out of the room. Um, and then we teachers will help them get some more hand sanitizer before we escort them back out the front door or the downstairs door if your dancer is dancing downstairs. Um, I'm gonna walk you guys downstairs now. Really the only time dancers will be using the stairwell is if they are using the restroom. Um, as we are going down here, I will take a moment to talk about that. Um, we have the two restrooms, and for the time being, both of them are going to be unisex restrooms. Um, also, we are only going to let one person in the restrooms at a time. Um, drinking fountain is blocked off. We are going to also close off the sink in the kitchen. Please bring lots of water um, as there's not a safe way for us to be able to fill your guys' water bottles without having a lot of common touch areas. So please plan to bring water. Uh, down here, it's set up similarly to upstairs. You can see the white tape marks I'm trying to show you um, on the floor, leading from the back door into the studio. Uh, we will walk into the studio and around the perimeter like we did upstairs. And then um, once everyone has their own space, they will put down their bags, they will take off their street clothes, put on their ballet shoes. Once everyone is ready, and then we will walk out onto the dance floor, um, find an X, do our center bar and our center exercises. A lot of the classes also have rehearsals. Um, you guys will see the schedule that I have um, laid out in my next email. Um, <laughs> And then at the very end, again, we go back, get our stuff, and um, teachers will escort us out that, the back door for the downstairs class. There is a break in between classes when teachers will be able to um, clean the studio, wipe it down, wipe down any common touched areas. We'll um, make sure that we have time to clean the bathrooms, um, make sure everything is as safe as possible. I think, that covers most of what I need to tell you right now. I know there's gonna be questions, um, and I know that this is kind of uh, figure it out as we go a little bit. I've done my best to try to plan it without actually having students here, but I am very well aware that once we actually get here, we might find that some things don't work well and other things might work great, and some of you might have some fabulous ideas and know that however it is, I'm gonna be trying to do my best to do what is right for the kids and I'm gonna to continue to try to listen to you guys. And most of all, I'm just excited to have them all back dancing. And I want you to, as parents and as dancers, to feel comfortable coming back to the space. Um, if you have questions, email me or Sharon. If you have comments, email us um, and we'll get this and we'll, we'll keep dancing and I'm excited. Um, but anyway, Breathe, I'm trying to breathe too. I'm telling myself that as much as I'm telling you that. Um, this, these next few weeks um, are going to be different than how they normally will have been, both as far as how we will be able to use the space and as far as how the classes are structured. Um, but given the guidelines that we have with the situation that we are in, I feel it is our best way to get in here and keep dancing. So with that, I hope to see you all soon. I hope you guys are all well and healthy and enjoying um, this somewhat calmer time that we don't usually have. And um, yeah, okay, see you soon, bye.